The top path Rigileki in Unite is still something that will get a discussion rolling and people are still not always sure for it if you should, you know, go for the top path Rigileki, if it makes sense to go. Some people always go for it, some people don't go for it at all. And I think on this game I will showcase a scenario where it's actually quite fine to stay top path for the Rigileki um, just because of how the game went. Usually going for bot path is always correct. Right, the bot regi is very, very strong, and those uh, that AOE experience it gives or the global experience it gives is very important, and it's usually the first team fight of the game as well. But the top path regi lucky can also be quite, quite good, and it can help you get a point lead. It can help you get your tech weight stacks done in case you run a tech weight. This game I'm playing Dragon Knight with Outrage on sadly on top path. I wanted to go for a central area. We ran out of time. The Mewtwo also wanted central area, so I just gave up and went for top path. Nothing I would recommend, of course. It's nothing you really want to do. We also got actually quite unlucky. The enemies have like a bus wall, they have imprison, they have nine tails, they have slow bros, an absolute nightmare for any melee auto attack Pokemon. They also have Geese, one of the world championship players from Lons Esports, playing the bus wall right here. And I just want to showcase how the game evolves. So usually we do have a Hoopa as well with Hyperspace Portal, but if your central area Pokemon plays around top path, which our Mewtwo is doing in this game, and decides not to go for you know the bot objective, Often it's just correct to just do top, break the goal, and push the Regilecki into the second goal. Yes, breaking a goal, I'm not a big fan of. Um, it's usually fine to break one goal. I just really don't like it when, you know, one team breaks two goals too early on. But if you can push the Regilecki into the second base pretty early on, it doesn't just give you a lot of points. It also gives a huge mental disadvantage on the enemy team. Right? They're going to be like, oh my god, how did Regilecki already walk in? They got so many points. Oh, this is so annoying to play against, right? That's just some like a bit of a mental advantage. MOBAs are always mental games. Um, you have to be always completely focused and not, you know, have any like um feelings or something make you play worse. And people will get tilted when they see Reggie Lecky walk in. They're like, wow, why did no one defend this? They don't want to defend this. They just scored so many points. So also, another thing I want to talk about just every second, it's never right to go five bot lane for the first objective either. So in this game, my Clefable at 720 probably should go towards bot path. And be ready there, and then you have always one player top lane still. Usually sending five towards bot is not right because you're going to lose a lot of top experience that in case you also lose the bot Reggie, the other, you know, top path player will most likely get. Of course, if you see the enemies retained five towards bot path, you can decide to maybe go there, but you can also just farm top pretty much for free. So we're slowly approaching the uh, seven minute mark where both Reggies are spawning and our Mewtwo is currently making it play on top path. I could break the goal right here. But I decide, I'm not even sure what's quite happening here, because we still have Hyperspace Portal, right? Right now in this scenario, I'm still not thinking about Regilecki too much. I will start thinking about Regilecki in just a second. I know the Breath of Three spawns right here, me and Clefable steal it very fast. I had it timed from when I took it the last time, and I'm already 7.5, almost level 8. So I'm going to help out our Mewtwo right here, killing the enemy Mewtwo. And let me dive towards this goal. And now it's 7.10 already, and this point I'm like, okay, I'm going to level 8 right here. We can maybe look for a, goal, a break on the goal, and then look for a Regilecki push. Um, our Mewtwo is the top, and we do have Hyperspace Portal, so we could rotate towards bot path right here, but when you see my Mewtwo decides to just go for the Regilecki, I'm like, okay, I could go bot path here, but without our central area Pokemon, I don't want to take a bot fight. Like, in general, fighting without your highest level Pokemon is just not a good idea, right? So I break the goal right here, I know Mewtwo is doing it alone, so I can just walk up, I can fully stack right here, I can put the Regilecki in, and I just can get so much experience for myself. The only problem is that your LS might die, like they do right here. And um, in those scenarios, if you see your team also playing around top path or something, just try to play as safe as you can on bot path. You can maybe try to steal away the Reggie, um, but in general, it's not worth, you know, just dying for it. So Hooper went down right here, Clefable went down, Mewtwo said he also went down. But we got a lot of points and we got the Reggie Lekian. I'm almost fully stacked on my tech weight, trying to get the last round right here. And I'm doing very good for myself now in this game. Of course, we let our team down a bit, but even if I'm there in this fight, it doesn't mean that I'm guaranteed going to win it, right? This was safe experience, I knew I'm going to push this in, I was level 9 for this push in as well, I know the enemies were bot lane, and this is one of the scenarios where I think it's totally fine, just be aware that uh, in case you see this happening, that you don't necessarily fight. So, this scenario is just one I talk about, if your jungler plays around top path, decides not to fight for bot, it's just often not the right choice to be there. You're going to waste so much time on bot path. Instead, you could just be farming a lot of experience. And this experience you're farming pretty much makes up for the enemies getting that AoE experience as well, right? And yours is much safer. The enemies still have to fight for it. They could lose the Reggie on bot path still to like our Mewtwo Unite or long range ability sniping it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of this gameplay. Um, it was very difficult again. It was a very difficult outrage game. And don't forget to like and subscribe.
At least he doesn't have imprison. Okay. I guess I'm fighting Sudam scaling. Don't worry. Yes. Nice. Perfect portal. Wait, what? What have outrage? Outrage stunned me out of porting back. I love Outrage. <laughs> if something weird happens, it's always Outrage stunning you. <laughs> oh man. Classic Outrage. <laughs> Actually, Unite Boof maybe to top. I wanna fight. Oh, I wanna fight. Let's go. Playing this bit into Night Hit. I mean, against Night Hits, I probably need extreme speed, but I don't want to play extreme speed. It's too extreme for me. Search. Can team get it? Yeah, team can get it. Oh no, I don't have my Unite, how tragic. Mm, I don't want to fight in this ah, spot. My it's like, returns. I can't avoid 9 hits there whatsoever. And we don't have to fight, we can share. We have a huge lead, right? We don't have to be aggressive. Okay, but this guy goes into... Okay, take him down. Smack, smack, smack. Smack, 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 smack. There we go. Yeah, better surrender. I mean, I, I was AFK half the game, but you know, that's just how it is sometimes.